Wow, the light is so beautiful right now. Look at that. It's hitting on top of the building over here. And then it's casting that wiggly light on the floor, which is absolutely beautiful. It's like in the swimming pool, you know, when the light is hitting directly. Oh, love it. All right, guys. Today, I want to share with you a function I turned off of my camera years ago and I never ever regretted it once and I'm pretty sure a ton of you still have it on so if you're ready let's get started Good morning everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. So today, as I mentioned, I wanna talk about the camera function that I highly encourage you to turn off or at least to try to, and I will give you a few reasons why. But before that, I want you to look behind me all the way in the background. There's a lady in yellow and that could be an awesome shot. Did you, did you see her? Yeah, I think it looks great, but right now I'm, I'm shooting with the camera, the video, which means I cannot actually get the shot, which, uh, yeah, it's always a trade-off when I'm out there shooting those videos. All right, a few years ago, I remember a day where I had to turn off a function on my camera. And at the beginning, I was like, well, if I do that, how am I gonna ever be able to know what I'm shooting? And then I realized that, especially when I was on DSLR, that actually it was a it was a waste of time a waste of energy from the camera and also it was hindering my ability to project and visualize better the images i was taking let me explain you all have on your camera a little function called uh, fast preview or instant preview which basically every time you take a photo it's gonna show you a preview of that photo straight on the back of your camera you know imagine you're taking a photo right now clack then the moment you take it, it's showing you the photo you took. It lasts maybe one second or two seconds, then it goes away. Now, there is a little problem with that. Well, for one, it's literally draining the battery whenever you have that function on. Let me explain. It's just like on the GoPro, it's like on every camera. When you have that preview function on, Every time it's gonna show that, that photo, it's gonna turn on the screen. And every time that screen is on, it's gonna use some energy. And for example, if you're not even looking at those photos, well, it means that you might have seen those photographer. You take the photo, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm pretending that's a DSLR or that's a mirrorless camera. So you take the photo and then you see the preview up here, but the photographer is not even looking at them, which means it's actually draining battery for absolutely no reason, in my opinion. So if you wanna save battery, if you wanna push your battery further, that is also already a great reason to turn off that function in your camera. And every camera supports it, so make sure if you're facing issues or if you're really trying to save your battery that day make sure you turn it off now there is also a second reason why you might want to turn it off and uh, i'm going to share that with you but i want to give you a little heads up just after i'm done talking about that topic i want to talk a little bit about something a little bit more personal i want to talk about the future of some videos and i want your opinion so if you're interested in the channel if you've been following for a while please stick around okay what is the second reason to actually turn that off well Simply put, whenever your camera is doing that preview, well, it's not doing something else, right? For example, if you're taking a burst mode, well, uh, the problem is that the camera will want to try to show you the picture, but at the same time, it's trying to do something else, aka take the photos. And having that combo going back and forth, I don't think is the most optimal because your camera gets a little slower. Now, don't quote me on that because some models absolutely don't care. They will turn off that function as long as you're bursting. So it really depends, but I think I wouldn't take the risk of uh, missing shots or whatever just for those previews. But the strongest reason why I think you should try turning it off is simply for your skills. Let me explain. When you're taking your photos, if you're not confident in what you're shooting and you have to review your photos all the time, well, it might also indicate that you're not able to visualize properly the photo and you actually have no clue what you're shooting. If that happens, well then I suggest you to take the time and review the photos and dial in the right settings and after start taking shots. Or if you're shooting portraits and you wanna see people's faces, make sure you do your whole section of a series of portraits and then check those photos. But if you're stopping at every shot to look at what it looks like, it's very distracting. Not only for yourself, but also maybe for your model or for the person you're trying to shoot. And I think it's a function that is really cool when you're really beginning, but if you're trying to take it a little bit 
to the next level, if you're trying to get a little bit better with your photography, I think you should definitely turn it off and rely a little bit more on your skill and feel a little bit more confident about the settings you dialed in. It's also a great way to see if you got it right or not because until you're pressing that review button, well, you will never know. So now I wanna know which one of you guys have it on, which one of you have it off. Let me know in the comments right now. Did you even know you could turn it off? It's always a great question to ask in my opinion. Love that spot. Remember that video I did here one time? It was super gray and the weather wasn't that great, but look at that right now. It looks amazing. You can take some great photos with shadows, highlights, etc. All right, now let's talk about the future of the channel. I need your help. Let's go. Alright guys, so as I mentioned, I need a little bit your help here. Two things. First of all, the future. What kind of videos would you love to see more of? Would you like to see more on location shoots like photography, street photography, landscape, adventures, whatever. Do you have a specific topic, gear, settings, all that? Let me know in the comments below. I want to know. Second thing, if it were to be a little bit more personal, do you have anything you would love to see? Because I was thinking a little bit maybe I'm gonna increase the number of videos and take you a little bit more throughout my day and throughout how I shoot just every day. You know, every day I try to take a few photos. Maybe that could be a good basis for some kind of a vlog that I could be making and not just simple dedicated videos, you know, just to uh, bridge a little bit beyond uh, just the tutorial aspect of things, etc. Let me know what you think. Um, it's always something at the back of my mind. Pros and cons, you know, it's, it's hard to decide. I want to have your opinion on that question and next is simply that as I mentioned in a previous uh, episode I would like to share with you my story and as you know it's a pretty cool story in my opinion it started in the middle of Africa on a boat and I have a few different ways and ideas I want to make that story for the video but if you've ever seen a video that is really good that t tells a great story in a good way compelling and that is highly shareable in the sense that when you watched it, you wanted to send it to your friend because it was really well made. Well, let me know in the comments, maybe drop a link. I would love to see a few more examples. I have ideas, but I really want to, I mean, after all, it's my story. I really want to make something impactful and that looks good in my opinion. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what inspiration you send me out. You can also DM me on Instagram because it's gonna be there. Oh. Hi, sir. No, no, I'm just uh, finishing a quick video. Yeah, I can see it. Thank you, sir. Okay, that was the cop. All right, <laughs> what I wanted to say is that I'm looking forward to seeing your inspiration. You can also drop me a DM on Instagram, sending me ideas or whatever. And last but not least, make sure um, you're on the newsletter. If you're not on the newsletter, first of all, you'll receive my story in a form of an email, which will be a little bit different than uh, the video. I send out tips weekly, so if you're interested, hit the description, there is a link, or just go to pietilambert.com forward slash get dash my dash story, and uh, you will receive everything, and weekly you'll get some awesome insight into uh, what I'm creating, why I'm creating it, and I'm gonna move before I die, and also <laughs> uh, you'll get some weekly tips. Okay, with that being said, guys, a huge thank you for being here, for watching. If you're new to this channel, I'm a travel adventure photographer. I'm traveling all around the world, uh, creating awesome videos for you. I, I think they're awesome. And duh, you should be subscribed by now. I don't know why I'm speaking so much. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. It's gonna make an amazing noise and you will get notified for the next adventures. I'm gonna get out there and shoot because I'm missing a bunch of shots with that direct light, which is absolutely beautiful. And I will see you in the next episode. See you guys, have an amazing day, bye. Oh, remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Yesterday was winter, I shot in the studio. Today is summer, I'm shooting outside. Get out there, do it something. Do, 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 create, go, 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 go. Enjoy, enjoy. You don't need my approval. By the way, that was solely a cop car and the guy was super nice. He's like, dude, you're gonna get killed. So, um, very thoughtful. Thank you, thank you, police officer. I'll make sure not to stay too long in the middle of the roads.